Right, the LA County Sheriff's Department is addressing allegations of so-called deputy gangs. They are secret cliques uh, that allegedly engage in violent and sometimes criminal behavior. CBS 2's Kara Finchdom is live in downtown LA with what's being done about the problem. Kara, good morning. Good morning, DeMarco. A short while ago, Sheriff Alex Villanueva announced that his department will be delivering 26 notices of disciplinary action, including terminations, to deputies believed to have been involved in one of these cliques. And he said this is part of a broader crackdown. I'm adopting a zero tolerance policy. If you form a group, you mistreat people. Yes, we will seek to make sure you're no longer a member of the department. The disciplinary letters are the result of an internal investigation into an East L.A. clique called the Banditos. Back in 2018, eight L.A. sheriff deputies claimed they were beaten, harassed, and forced to pay off members of the station clique, which they say operated like a gang. During a training session, it was said that one of the Banditos sucker punched a deputy and that bully tactics were used to push a corrupt culture where taxes were demanded by the clique and deputies who resisted were denied backup on dangerous calls. The sheriff's department did not comment on all of these different allegations today, but said they are going to be cracking down and uh, taking a number of actions. Now, the allegations come alongside accusations of other cliques or gangs within the sheriff's department. Take a look. In Compton earlier this month, Mayor Asia Brown called for an independent investigation of a clique called the Executioners. Their members allegedly have matching tattoos, do not include blacks or women, and are accused of racial profiling. Here's what the sheriff said will be done to help combat any types of racial profiling. And if there's any actionable information that points towards racial profiling of any kind, then we can narrow it down to the group responsible and we can effectively address it. That's the point that was missing in the past, because now we're actively monitoring all of the data that is being generated to make sure there's no racial profiling going on. So, DeMarco, the sheriff says this moves a change in stance. He says this is a problem that has existed for decades, and he is hoping to make some changes again with the announcement of this zero tolerance policy and these 26 letters of disciplinary action. Back to you. A problem that must be addressed. All right, Cara, thank you very much for that report.